you're really busy because you uh, you were working on four good days, and this is a very uh, this is completely different tone, obviously. Oh yeah, how are you gonna transition from this? To There's no way to trans. <laughs> There's no way to transition. Uh, that was, it, yeah. Well, this is pot, and then we get into a much heavier substance. Uh, <laughs> the last topic was the gateway drug for this topic. Um, <laughs> but it's, it's really a harrowing story. This, this yes. movie is a really harrowing story, yeah. uh, and it's about... It's a true story. Addiction, true story. Yeah, based on an article that was written a couple years ago about a mother-daughter. And what I genuinely loved about it was it's not a, a story about drugs, and it's not a story about, like, why you shouldn't do drugs. It's not. It's just two people's um, life set in the world of four days, and they just have to survive these four days about a young woman. This all happened. An addict goes to rehab, public rehab, pays for three days of, um, of detoxing, and then uh, the next is up to you. And there's a shot you can get if you're sober for, four day, uh, for seven days. You can get a shot that prevents you from getting high, and so she just has to stay sober for four days. And the, the film is through the lens of these two women. Glenn Close and myself play mother-daughter, and it takes place in a house, and it's just a matter of Will she or won't she? That's amazing. Your co-stars. Uh, I mean, Close, come on. I just said like Glenn Close. Close. Like it's no big deal. It's a big deal. Colin. Yeah, I'm I know. fully aware. I'm not gonna be an asshole. It's like, hey, guys, it's no big deal. Right. It's a big deal. Yeah. And being in with her all day long, every day was like genuinely one of the greatest gifts that I could have had. And then pandemic hit the day after we wrapped. I mean, it couldn't have been any more like. The world is so amazing. I'm working with Glenn Close. The world is ending. Everything is shutting down. Everybody's <laughs> like, it all was very extreme feelings. We have, a, we have a clip here. Anything you need to tell us about this? I think it's pretty intense. I think it's pretty, I mean, it's, I, I think you guys get it. Like, I, the, the, the impetus of the film is she goes to rehab, she comes out of rehab, she now has to spend four days with her mom. Let's look at this uh, clip from Four Good Days. Yeah, what drugs are you using? Heroin, methadone, some crack, uh, if I get it in, then maybe Adderall. Last time you used? Yesterday morning, so I'm hurting. How long have you been addicted? Mm. 10 years, more. Have you ever been through detox? Mm -hmm. How many times? Mm. 14. Excuse me? 14 times. So, hey. um, this is fully based on real, like, real events, real life. And, uh, and Glenn and I were both really fortunate to talk to both the women in, in today. And, and like, it is an everyday, it is day to day. Like yeah. there is no, it is a disease, right? And it's not one of those where like, and everything's great and there's a happy ending and right, everyone, right. it's not. And th this is the real life, you know, eyes into it. Yeah, and I, I'm quite certain you could probably talk to anybody here and uh, in this audience, everybody knows someone who's gone through this, at least somebody or a family member. Oh, 100%. It's, it's insane how prevalent it is and tragic, but. Yeah. Um, good for you for doing this. It's absolutely Thank you. incredible. Four I good had a days, lot of fun. yeah. Four good days is available now uh, on digital and video on demand. And I'll say this, you know, we're gonna pack this up and move on uh, to other things. But uh, it has been a real treasure. Every single time I talk to you, whether it's on this show or bumping into you uh, out in the world, you're a real person, and you're uh, genuine and really funny and lovely and uh, just a joy to know you. So Mila oh, no, Kunis, thank, thank you, you so much. Seriously.